that was me getting into character. You wouldn't want to go to her if you got your fortune teller, would you? Giving out that death card, damn. Right, so straight in, I'm doing an eye on my forehead for that magical, mystical third eye. And then going in with the subculture palette, I'm using Dawn as a transition colour on my lid. I'm just blending that out in small circular motions and outwards motions. And you've got to do that third eye. So now I'm going in with Roxy. I'm just putting this along the crease and just blending it back and forth. And obviously I've got to put Roxy on the third eye as well, so I'm just blending that across the lid. So now I'm going in with All Star. I love this colour, it's such a gorgeous maroon colour. And I'm just putting that on the outer corner of the crease. And then just blending that out. And again, on the third eye hard to do a smoky eye on the third eye because obviously you don't just do it on the outer edge so I kind of had to do it on either end of the eye so I'm just blending it outwards so it goes in towards the center now I'm using rowdy which I love this color it's such a gorgeous plum it really adds that darkness to the eye look which I love and I'm just blending that back and forth now I'm going in with the NYX Cosmic Metals palette and using this gorgeous shimmery gold to go on my lid to add that magical touch. Then just dabbing that gold on the lid of the third eye as well. So now we're going back in with Roxy and I'm just going to be bringing this on the lower lash line and blending it out. And then obviously as well, for the third area as well, just putting that on the lower lash line and blending it outwards. You can see that the eyes are all starting to come together now, especially the third eye. Now I'm going in with All Star again and just bringing that on the outer corner of the lash line and blending that outwards. Okay, so now I'm just going back in with my Sigma Gel Wicked Liner just to make the black more vivid, kind of got all blended out. And then I'm just going back over the lines on the outer edge as well and adding some lashes. I'm not amazing at adding lashes, but I think it pulled the look kind of together with it. And now I'm just going in with my NYX Contour Palette with my Spectrum Contour Brush. I'm going quite heavy here because I want her features to be really defined. Now I'm just going in with some light pink Sigma blush to add some colour back to my skin. And now I'm going in with my Technique Prism Highlighter. I love this highlight, it's so blinding. So I'm just dabbing that on and then blending it out with my finger. And I'm going over that with some powder highlight. I'm using my Makeup Revolution Peach Lights with my Spectrum Fan Brush. And then I thought I'd get a bit more creative, going with my NYX white liner, do some lines and some dots around the eyes, kind of to add a bit of a voodoo feel to her. Because obviously she is not a nice fortune teller. She giving out that death card. And I'm going back in with my NYX Cosmic Metals palette and using this gorgeous maroon colour. I'm just going around dabbing this around just to add some more sparkle and then back in with this gold as well and doing the exact same thing. I just want her to be really sparkly and you know even though she's an evil fortune teller she still like the glow. Now I'm just going in with some lash glue and just doing some random dots under my eye area. I'm just going in with some Barry M copper glitter and dabbing that over. Now I'm going in with my MAC Well Lip Liner and just lining my lips. I wanted to use a nude one because I'm going to go in with some a black liquid lipstick. I don't have a black liner so I had to use a nude. 
then I'm just going in with my Colourpop Friday, which is one of my favourite liquid lipsticks to use. I don't use it enough, but I do like to bring it out for the tutorials. And I'm just dabbing some Kylie Cosmetics in air on the middle lip just to bring in that copper onto the lips as well. I think it looks kind of pretty. And I'm just going in with the NYX Gold eyeshadow and just dabbing that over the top to really make it pop. So I'm just going in with some browns to go around the mouth just to add more of a dark feel to her kind of like her lips have been smudged out and I'm just drawing some white dots down the center of my chin now I'm going to go in with the subculture palette again with edge and just bring it all under the eye so she looks like she's got bags and this is the final look so I hope you enjoyed watching this video to get this mystical dark fortune teller look. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to click that like button and subscribe. And I will be back very soon for the third look in Glamour Ween.